So how do we find the equation of a plane passing through three non-collinear points? Now at this point, we only know of one formula or one equation, that is the scalar equation of a plane passing through a point P0 with a normal vector n. So that is a times x minus x0 plus b times y minus y0 plus c times z minus z0 equals 0. This is the only equation of a plane that we know. Now we are asked to find the equation of a plane passing through three points. Now we can let the point P be equal to P0 which has components x0, y0 and then z0 and that will be P0 with components 1, 1, 0. So we can let P be equal to P0. However, we don't have the normal vector. Now since we have three points here, we can generate the normal vector. Now, even before we obtain the normal vector, we need to find two vectors which lie on the plane so that the result of their cross products will be equal to the normal vector, which is perpendicular to the points on the plane. Now, that normal vector, since it's perpendicular to every point on the plane, will as well be perpendicular to the point P0. And by this, we can find the equation of the plane. So first, let's find let's find the two vectors which lie on the plane so we have these two vectors to be v1 and then v2 so we have v1 to be the vector pq which is given by q minus p so in the vector component form we have 1 minus 1 which is 0 2 minus 1 which is 1 and then 1 minus 0 which is 1 and then for v2 we have the vector pr which is also given by r minus p so using the same approach we have negative 2 minus 1 which is negative 3 2 minus 1 which is 1 and then negative 1 minus 0 which is still negative 1. Now the results or the cross product of these two vectors is equal to the normal vector. Therefore we have we have n which is the normal vector equals the cross product of v1 and then v2. So to find the cross products we basically have I mean the 3 by 3 matrix we have the first row being occupied by the unit vectors along the x, y, z axis that is i cap, j cap and then k cap and then we have the second row to be filled by the components of v1 which is 0, 1, 1 and then row 3 also to be filled by components of v2 negative 3, 1, negative 1 so that is equal to we select the first element in row 1 that is i cap and thus we multiply negative 1 by 1 which is negative 1 minus 1 times 1 which is 1 minus j cap so we select this value we cancel out the row and column containing that value so we have negative 1 times 0 which is 0 minus negative 3 times 1 which is negative 3 so it becomes plus 3 and then lastly plus k cap we cancel out row and column we are left with 0 1 negative 3 1 so we multiply 1 by 0 which is 0 minus negative 3 times 1 which is negative 3 so that becomes plus 3 so let's try to multiply i cap j cap and k cap across so we have this to become negative 2 i cap and this negative 3 j cap and then plus 3 k cap so this is the normal vector this is the normal vector the vector which is perpendicular or orthogonal to every point on the plane including p naught 
now using this formula that is the scalar equation of a plane passing through the point p naught and then perpendicular to the normal vector let's try to find the equation of the plane so that is given by we have a we have a to b negative 2 we have b negative 3 we have c to be 3 and then we have this to be x naught y naught z naught so we have a to be negative 2 times x minus x naught is 1 plus plus b so b is negative 3 so negative 3 y minus y naught is 1 plus c which is 3 z minus z naught is 0 that is equal to 0 so we have negative 2x plus 2 minus 3y plus 3 plus 3z equals 0 so finally we have negative 2x minus 3y plus 3z and then here we have 2 plus 3 which is 5 so we transpose that to the right hand side it becomes negative 5 so this is the equation of the plane passing through the three points p q and then r